Um, this view is simulates pretty close to what they'll see at the test center. Um, it's what we use to when we do the quality control and the test and so forth. But they'll see a welcome screen. I'm going to go real quick. Uh, this is the screen that Joanne was alluding to that if they don't accept the uh, the language that's there that's telling them they won't share any information and so forth. If they don't accept, they'll get kicked out and their reser their test will be over for that day and they'll have to reschedule at a, at a cost to them unless they, they have a valid reason. John, in the test environment, did we put a warning? And I don't think there's still a warning on that screen. In the test environment, there's a warning. There's a, so it's, are you sure? They, there's a further, in the actual test, it'll say, are you sure you want to? decline or whatnot, something to that effect. There's a tutorial they can spend 15 minutes on on how to use the uh, computer, um, different functionalities it talks about. This, this just says um, it'll show you how to use it. You got your basic toolbar functions. They have um, time on the bottom of the screen. It's, it's counting up. If you, if you look down here, you can see the time. Um, this is the number of tutorial questions that were on. If they were in the actual test, it'll be counting the question. Again, the tutorial doesn't count against their test time. Um, if there's a, an item that requires scrolling, they could um, scroll through through the test, through the um, item. You can select your answer with either the, the um, mouse, the letters, and um, I believe once you select it, you can also use your own, nope, at least not in this version, but I think you can use the arrow keys at the test center as well. Um, time and question we covered. If you want to mark a question for review, you would, um, let's say we, um, we say review, mark this one, and we go on to the next screen. If we say review, it'll come up with what we've seen already, and it'll bring the question up. If you, uh, I'm not sure how it is in the test environment, but if I uncheck it, it, it gives me everything I've seen so far and I can just pick, and I won't do that here for time, but I could go back to number one by just highlighting it and selecting it. Um, I don't think I have translations built in here. We haven't talked about that, but the exam will still be, to those that request it, be offered in Spanish. Um, let me see if I have it built in here. I might. Yep, you can toggle between languages. Same thing on the test question. They can see the English or Spanish. The only, but only candidates that request their test in Spanish will have that ability to go back and forth. If you have a split screen, you can move your um, your lines. So that's important. I mean, we've had in the, our, our uh, broker exam has cases at the end where they have to answer five five, they have to do a reconciliation and, and, and do their calculations and answer that. I've had people say, well, the information wasn't there, and I'm like, you, you didn't, you know, you didn't scroll through or you didn't move the line, either or, because you can scroll or you can, so they, they didn't get all their points because they didn't see all the information they needed. Um, talks again about reviewing, if you're at the end, you can, you can hit the review function, if you want to go through the tutorial again at this point you can or if not you continue on to your test this is where once they click OK the time test time will start running we tell them they have 120 items 6 hours 30 minutes they need a 70% 84 questions they'll get a score report at the end if they click OK they're starting their their test I haven't built any items in here so it's just going to take me to the end of the test this will be the warning if you had gone through your whole test and you're at the 125th um, item, because remember, we'll have pilot items. They, they can go back and review. If they hit continue, they'll see a warning. Are you sure you want to end? And then we don't have the warnings built into my little experiment here. Um, this is just great report should print out at this point. Um, then there's a few survey questions if they want to answer them. They're optional, just okay, and they could answer them the same fashion. Just go through them. But this is how the data that Joanne showed that she collects and provides to the department as far as satisfaction. And that's it. That's how they, what they see there. And <clears throat> once they're done, they go go out to the proctor will get them and they'll get their grade report, collect their books, and so forth. And 
questions on there? Just thought you'd be interested. Some people have never taken the test on a computer. So.